Retro Ghetto. Okay, so we are kicking off this week's vlog back here in Retro Ghetto Gym. Not much has changed out here since, um, well, since we built the room and sort of painted all the walls and everything. Um, I do plan on getting like a cover put over here and then I'll invest in some more equipment once it's been weatherproofed. But yeah, today is 1st of January. Um, I'm never really one for New Year's resolutions. I'm more of a just do it today kind of guy, but the last probably two months of the year, I had an injury, I had tonsillitis, I had to get this game room ready, I had God of War Ragnarok. So my training definitely got um, pushed back. It wasn't um, as important as it probably should have been. So I've definitely been slacking and not training anywhere near as hard enough. But it's just sort of coincided with the 1st of January. So I thought, you know what, this year, why not use that and try and do the whole new year, new me thing that you see online. But not really so much that. But yeah, we're going to go at it this year. And I wanted to just put this in at the start of the vlog, just in case any other people out there that have, um, you know, thought they're going to do New Year's resolutions and maybe you've already fell off, maybe you've already let it go. Um, so what? Jump back on it. Get back on it. Um, sometimes you have bad days, it's just about how quickly you get back on it. This is not a lifestyle vlog. This is not a motivation vlog. It's just, you know, it's the 1st of January. This is how I'm feeling right now and this is what these vlogs are all about. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to have a good run at training going into this year. Stay injury free. Touch wood, I'm getting older. So, you know, these old, old man joints aren't what they used to be. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, got loads coming up on this vlog. Got some amazing uh, game hunting planned. I've um, got a day out coming up soon this week, which you guys will be seeing very soon. Um, toy hunting, video game hunting. So yeah, that'll be coming up on this vlog. And of course, we'll be getting into doing some more work on the Retro Ghetto 3.0, no doubt. But yeah, welcome to this week's vlog. Let's go. Beautiful morning this morning. I told you guys on the last vlog, I'm pretty boring. All I do is drink tea. Yeah, I'm getting an early start. It's half past seven. I've been up since about five o'clock. I'm um, starting on the editing. This is for the video that you guys will have seen on Wednesday, which is my video games completed. Videos like that are always quite um, edit heavy, because obviously I'm talking about over about 25 games. And yeah, there's a lot of footage to get and a lot of arranging on those kind of videos so it does take a lot of hours. I was up late last night and then up early this morning but I want to get it done because tomorrow um, we're out game hunting, toy hunting so we've got loads to look forward to. Today I'm going to be nipping out as well just in my local town um, so I'll probably be popping in CX any charity shops if they're open because um, it is Bank Holiday Monday so I'm not sure if they're going to be open but yeah we'll go anywhere we can today and then tomorrow We've got some really good game hunting to look forward to, but yeah, I'm going to do a few more hours of editing. And uh, yeah, next time you see me, we'll probably be out and about. I'll take the little man with us and we'll see what we can find. Cheers. Okay, so I've got most of my editing done. I've come out with little man to do a bit of game hunting, see what else we can see. Hey. Happy New Year. Good boy. Locking the matching kicks up, my bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, we're going to check out a few places. As I say, it's bank holiday, so hopefully most places will be open. Um, we're definitely going to pop in CEX, see what we can find. And uh, yeah, take you guys with me. You found anything, mate? All the phones. Babies. And all the phones. Teddy bears, they don't need them, do we? What's daddy looking for? Game! That's right. Dad, I just found a teddy! Yeah. The teddy here. Thank you. Okay, mate. You alright? You want to see what's inside, yeah? Come on then. Yeah. 
no street fire. Is there any games in here that we want? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Trust you to find Far Cry. You like that game, don't you? Yeah. Don't tell your mummy you've been watching me play that. It was. I'm really intrigued by this game. I saw, I think it was Champion 2D Rock, um, was telling people how good this game was. And it's a, quite a budget title. This one doesn't feel like it's got a manual in it. I'm not in a rush, but let me know in the comments if you've watched this, uh, played this, sorry, because it's definitely one I'm thinking about picking up. Otherwise, nothing really in here. What I use cash converters for, really, is usually to check for sleeve covers and things like that, steel books, special editions. Otherwise, the prices are very similar, if not slightly more expensive than CX in my experience. But yeah, always worth checking. Come on, you. Mario. Here's Mario, yeah. Doesn't look a bad price, in good condition, that. And there's nothing in here, is there? Nothing much is there, mate. They're all over there. These are all rubbish stuff. Well, it's not rubbish. Some people might like it. I'm still always looking for hip-hop CDs when I come to charity shops, but... I don't know, sometimes certain shops, they're just hard to look through, aren't they? You can spend hours just trying to find, go through them all to find a load of Cliff Richard. I'm still looking. Okay, so I've managed to find some hip-hop. An old PJ and Dunk. <laughs> I'm only joking. I found a few CDs I'm going to buy there. Uh, I'm going to find Lil' Kim. Notorious K.I.M. TLC, classic album. G unit, beg for mercy. This this was definitely a moment in time during my uh, teenage years. But yeah, pound each. Add them to the collection. See what we got. Yeah. Um, you can get the odd newer title in here, quite cheap. Um, A good price. <clears throat> right, I kind of want this because I've got um, like Nintendo displays, I've got an Xbox Lite. I would like this, even though it's not, you know, official store promotion. I just think it look really nice, little, but I don't want to pay that. I'm going to wait for a sale or see if I can get it online cheaper. But I think that look really good with the uh, Mega Drive section in the game room. Got quite a few decent ones. So that God of War stand that you've seen, I've been going in ever since it went up. I've been saying, you know, would, when you come to throw it away, would you mind if I have it? And they always say, yeah, no problem, just keep checking. Thank you. They keep saying, yeah, keep popping in, keep popping in. When the time comes, you can have it. So anyway, the, um, the time came and... <laughs> Sorry about that, I got cut off. Hey, don't cross the road. Hard work filming and parenting. Um, wait, wait. Yeah, so that's Sandy in the window. I keep saying to them, can I have it? And they keep saying, right, pop in. Um, and every now and again, pop in. And then when it's available, you can have it. Went in last week. Oh, is the Sandy available? Oh, we've said somebody else can have it. Thanks, game. You're on camera. I'm on camera. You're all right, man. Yeah, man. This is a game I don't think I've seen before. Three pound. 
I've got the first one still to play on the 360, but I've heard it's a good game. But three quid? I didn't even know there was a second game. Might have to pick that one up. This game, I'm sure, has come down in price. Um, Splatterhouse, and this is a great copy of it. Because uh, it's got the manual. I don't think mine's got the manual. Often it's incomplete, this game. So, yeah, 15 quid. Well worth picking that on. I'm legitimately tempted by this, but I just can't justify the price. I know we're uh, saving the planet and all, reducing plastic. These cardboard Happy Meal toys are like Not what they used to be, are they? Okay, successful trip. Got what the missus set me out for. Had a little game hunt, picked up a couple of bits, which I'll be showing you guys when we get back. Um, Luigi wanted a McDonald's, so he's a happy boy. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys when we get back. Okay, so I've been back uh, a few hours now. Um, I've put a bit more time into Cuphead, which, yeah, I've finished the second island. Um, I'm about to work out, it's freezing outside, hence the outfit. Um, but to be honest, just playing Cuphead feels like a workout. <laughs> I sweat more playing that game than I do actually working out. But quickly show you guys what I picked up from my trip this afternoon. Uh, as you saw, I picked up a couple of CDs from that charity shop. Um, we've got the little Kim album and G Unit. Um, the other album I picked up, TLC, when I got to the counter, it didn't have the right disc in it, so um, obviously I didn't buy that. And in CEX, um, shout out to Joe, shout out to Manesh. Love that arrangement of CEX. Um, very, very rarely do I go in there and leave empty handed. And I did pick up a game, I picked up uh, Beyond, Beyond Two Souls. Um, heard a few things about this game, um, you know, it's got Willem Dafoe and, uh, what's her name, Alan Page in it. Heard some good things about it, some mixed reports, but it's just one that's always intrigued me. So it's definitely one worth picking up, especially for £2.50. It's just a game that I didn't have. Um, and I'm enjoying playing my PlayStation 3 at the moment as well. So yeah, definitely um, intrigued by this one, I think I'll say. Normally, I'd get a few more games than I'm in CEX, but the reason I didn't is I've alluded quite a few times on this vlog now that I've got a big um, game and toy hunt planned, and that is tomorrow. So you're going to be seeing that tomorrow. Um, we're heading to, well, you'll see where we're heading to, but the city we're going to has got probably the biggest CEX I've ever been to. So I figured I'd save my vouchers for that. I can nip into my local one anytime and pick up things from there. But yeah, the CEX at this city, from what I remember, is it's massive. So hopefully we're going to find some good things there as well as the shops that we're going to be visiting. So yeah. Uh, stay tuned to the vlog, um, tomorrow promises to be a great day, I'm really looking forward to it, but for now I'm going to go and work out, um, play some Cuphead, try and get an early night, and then uh, yeah, big days hunting tomorrow, I'll see you guys then. And talk about a great post-workout meal, I've got to shout out Mrs RG for these roast potatoes. We did what a lot of people do at Christmas, we bought goose fat, but can't beat these, these are rapeseed oil I think she uses. I just don't think roast potatoes get better than this. So much for new year, new me. <laughs> right, so just doing a spot of colouring in with the little man. Um, as you can probably guess, it was me that's responsible for the colouring in books he got at Christmas. So he's done Ryu, done himself a good job. I'm working on, of course, Kratos. Yeah, nice thing to do with the boy. Okay, so the uh, early night didn't happen. I started playing God of War and I ended up going for the Platinum Trophy. And I don't know what you guys think about Platinums, but I don't know, I've got a bit of a mixed feeling towards them. I've basically spent the last couple of nights when I'm playing this game just going around looking for collectibles and um, I don't find that much fun. And without the aid of Google, you'd never get it done, right? It's impossible. So you have to go online, try and find where all these collectibles are and then 
you know, going all around the map to find these random things. I don't find it particularly fun. It's more of like the fact that I want to achieve it. What I find strange is I've never had a platinum trophy. I play a lot of games, I complete a lot of games, as you would have seen from last week's video or this week's video. So I kind of feel like it's something missing that I need to accomplish a platinum. And if I'm going to get a platinum, I might as well get on God of War. And I don't know, I've got this kind of thing in the back of my mind where maybe I'd love to get all the God of War games platinum and then just have those sitting there looking nice, just the platinums for my favorite game and franchise. But I don't know, it's such a slog. But anyway, um, let's admire my armor first, right? I love this armor set. I think it's the best looking armor on the game. But if I can do it one handed, this should give me a trophy. There we go, the curator. So, now I'm pretty much nearly done. The only things I've got left to do, I've got four trophies left. Uh, the four trophies that I've got left are pretty much tied up in two fights. And they're the hardest two fights on the game. It's the something king that you get once you've killed all the other berserkers and um, a Valkyrie. And yeah, they're widely regarded as the two hardest things on the game. You get a trophy for each of those. Uh, they both drop like a, a rund or something, whatever they are. Uh, and that will then give me the next trophy because I'll have had all them. And then the platinum itself. So I'm four trophies away, but it's tied up in two fights. And yeah, I, from what I've read online, and I've had a quick go on the Valkyrie and I was nowhere near. I know it's going to take a lot of patience to get it. Um, but yeah, I've come this close. I feel like I've got to get my first platinum trophy now, right? So I've got two boss fights to do and then I've pretty much platinum the game and it's been a great game um, you know I spoke about on my games completed video how much I enjoyed this game and it seems fitting to sort of go all out and get it completed God of War 2018 I'm very close to platinum as well I just never pursued it because it was never like my goal I've never tried to platinum a game until now but I'm only a couple of trophies away on that game so you know I might as well go back and do that after this and yeah um, let's see if in my first goal, I think, of 2023 will be to get every Platinum Trophy in God of War. I think um, that'd be a nice feat to have, but yeah, I definitely won't be getting these boss fights done tonight, but we're getting closer to that first ever Platinum. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Platinums, because yeah, I'm still undecided. Retro -ghetto. Okay, it's the next morning. I stayed up way too late last night trying to beat King Ralph or whatever his name is. Unsuccessfully, I might add. So yeah, still no platinum trophy. But we are on the way to Leicester. And the reason we're going to Leicester is because they've got so many great shops. Um, they've got Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. They've got Game Shack, which is a fantastic video game store. And as I alluded to yesterday, they've got probably the biggest CEX I've ever been to. They've also got loads of great um, clothing and sneaker or trainer shop so yeah it's a really great city to visit for shopping so yeah um perfect place to go and film for the vlog hopefully we'll find some absolute gems and uh, yeah obviously we'll be taking you guys to all the shops with me okay we have made it to leicester <laughs> so yeah we're going to be heading firstly i think to vintage toy shop i've got a few toys from the old handy cx bag that i'm going to take um see if they're interested in them because as you guys know, and you've seen my room, uh, the 2.5 as it was, I've got a lot of stuff I need to get rid of. So yeah, I'll uh, be taking those guys some uh, toys that I don't want anymore, or I ain't got room for, should I say. Um, but yeah, Leicester Vintage Toy Shop, an amazing place. And if you haven't, for whatever reason, make sure you check out that YouTube channel. I'll post a link in the description below. Um, they've got an amazing, amazing uh, channel to do uh, a series called Toy Shop on Tour, which is fantastic. I've actually just had Jonathan Ross on, um, that channel is like, that video, sorry, is like on viral and it's really blown their channel up, which is much deserved because they've got an amazing channel, as I say. So yeah, uh, we're heading there now. Sadly, Game Shack is closed, it doesn't open back up after the Christmas break until tomorrow. So yeah, we'll have to go there another day. I have done a tour here already though, so um, great video game shop, gotta check it out and obviously I'll make sure the link's in the description below to the tour. But uh, yeah, plenty of other things for us to be looking at. Let's go. Okay, we're here. It's the famous toy shop on tour van. Leicester Vintage and Old Toy Shop. For a second, I got worried and thought this was closed as well, but I think these shutters just stay down. Okay. 
And here we are in the world famous Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. Hi, gentlemen. <laughs> now that's a welcome. How you doing? You good? Very good. You're on the vlog. That's all right, gentlemen. I know you're used to the camera now, aren't you? Yeah, you're right. Good to see you, mate. Happy New Year. Nice to see you. Happy New Year, sir. Good to see you all. Do a quick scan of the shop. Then I'll have a chat with you, fine gentlemen. Hello. So yeah, here we are in the mecca of vintage toys. Uh, what an amazing place to spin the camera around. If you can't find it in here, it probably doesn't exist. Shout out to this gentleman as well. Little little prop of horrors, is it? Little's prop shop. Little is prop shop Instagram. If you want anything making, <laughs> this guy's a wizard. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description below. Lego minifig heaven. Wow. I've always been tempted to collect Lego minifigs. I think those are cool, but. It's just a slippery slope, isn't it? Once you start, I'll pretty much end up with a shelf like this by the end of the year. That's me after today's eating. Shout out Pixel Dan, who gifted me one of those beans. Loose figs. I like him. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Gav. And this is Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. And you're watching Retro Ghetto. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just stopped by Tim Hortons for a little break. Never, never been here before. Um, some little donut things. All right, a bit, bit sweet. Oh, I'm getting old, aren't I? Um, wow, just got just finished at Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. An amazing time. Great guys. Um, sometimes when you watch people on YouTube and you meet them in real life, it's not the same, right? I've met them before, but they're just great guys. Great, great guys. High energy. Every time I leave there, I'm smiling. I always enjoy my time there. So massive shout out to Joe and Gav. And again, make sure you're checking out their channel because yeah. That channel's really taking off um, and it deserves, uh, it really deserves to as well. So yeah, great time in there. Picked up a little mini, Lego mini fig for little man. I could have bought loads of things in there as always, but guys, you know my struggles. I'm trying not to fill my room too much with toys. So I'm having to restrain myself from buying more and more toys that I've got no room for. But yeah, um, as I say, just a great time. There's loads more places for us to go and check out. It's a shame about Super Game Shack not being closed today, but there's Forbidden Planet around the corner. So we're gonna go and check that out. Um, as well as a host of other places. So yeah, um, let's get on with it. Okay, so I've just nipped into a sort of a pawn shop. I'm just doing my standard look through the games. And I've seen this, I've never seen this before. I just bought the PlayStation 3 version. It's 10 pound, I'm not gonna buy it, I'm gonna do a bit of homework. But yeah, anybody ever played this game? Let me know in the comments, because uh, I might have to pick this up. Conan Exiles. Hmm. Always worth taking a look in Forbidden Planet. That thing is you can buy cheaper online. Yeah. 
So yeah, didn't film much in Forbidden Planet. I mean, it's very, I don't know, I think I just go in out of habit. Years ago, I used to find it decent. Can't remember the last time I bought something from a Forbidden Planet. Chances are if you see something in there, it's cheaper online. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I think it's gone downhill. Okay, so we made it to CEX. Um, as I told you guys, it's massive from memory. Hope I haven't overhyped it now. Um, but let's go and see what's inside. Yeah, as you can see, it's huge. Let's see if we can find any retro. So as you can see, it's a massive store. So it's a lot of open space, isn't it? To be fair. Feels like they could definitely get more stock in here. I've never seen this before. There's a man that loves a sleeve cover. That would be tempting. It's not in the best condition. It's a bit ripped at the top, and that's where you put it on your shelf, so probably pass. But yeah, I've never seen that before. Another one I need your advice on guys, anyone played this? It's creeping up in price for Xbox 360 game. It looks decent, I like the films, but never heard much about it. Yeah, let me know in the comments please if you've played this. So vinyl's so expensive now, you have to take advantage of these kind of deals in HMV when they come around, but I can't even find two I want. I do like the Fleetwood Mac album rumours, but I've got a Fleetwood Mac Great Hits and vinyl, so it seems like I'm just doing it for the sake of it. This is the one I want, but I can't find one that I want equally as much. Um, you can do two for 40 or three for 55 or it's 29 pound each which is ridiculously expensive but yeah struggling to find another one you know you find yourselves in a women's clothing shop there's a man you, you've got to secure that chair early on I've, I've made eye contact with about five other blokes that are just wishing they had this chair <laughs> i am not moving insert the titanic meme Perfect end to a day shopping. I'm not filming it yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm out of my pizza coma now. And uh, yeah, Leicester seems like a long time. We can see it's getting on for 11 at night. As you can see, I'm still torturing myself with Cuphead. Yeah, it's been a great day. I actually didn't buy too much in terms of games and toys. Um, you know, I don't like buying things for the sake of it. But whilst that CX was massive, very barren and there wasn't really anything there that I felt like I had to pick up um, and unfortunately Game Shack was closed as I said an amazing time with the guys over at Leicester Vintage Toy Shop the one thing that I did pick up in terms of games and toys because we did get clothes and trainers and that kind of stuff but um, was It Takes Two this was just like I think it was 17 18 pound in game which is quite cheap for a brand new game uh, especially one that was game of the year just a year ago so yeah, me and Mrs. RG have been playing this this evening, and uh, whilst that's been the odd argument, we're still together. <laughs> really fun game, I've um, already put like two or three hours into it, but yeah, it's really fun. I can see why, I'm not going to say I can see why it was game of the year, I mean last year wasn't a vintage year for gaming. Um, it's a good game. Is it game of the year? I don't know. Um, 
I'll let you know more about it when I finish it. But yeah, it's definitely good form. But yeah, we had a great day. Yeah, it's been an amazing day. Um, I'm going to try and finish this damned lead. This is the last boss of Island 2. Then I'll be on to the final island before the DLC, uh, Island 3. So yeah, um, hopefully it's not going to take me too much longer. Um, I want to get to my bed at some point. Get in. So happy. I can go to bed. A happy man. Peace. Good morning. Okay, so we're back in the games room. And the first thing I need to get done today is tidy up. It is an absolute tip in there. It's crazy how quickly things get messy. This is all sort of remnants of the last video. So the video games I've completed video. So all those sort of like additional shots that you see, the overlay of me looking at games and scanning things. This is the sort of repercussions of that. So this is the behind the scenes, the aftermath, if you will. So I need to tidy up everything, get everything put back, move all my recording equipment. This is from me and Mrs. RG last night playing uh, It Takes Two and yeah, this is how quickly it becomes a mess. So yeah, first thing to do today, get everything nice and clean. And then uh, I'm going to be cracking on with what you guys will see as next week's episode, which I think is going to be a very, very special mainline episode of the Retro Ghetto. But it's going to take a good few days of research. But uh, yeah, more about that in a bit. Okay, it's looking a lot better. Much cleaner in here. Clean space, clean mind, right? Been bumping my man Nas. If you like hip hop, make sure you're checking out King of Disease 3. What an album that is. But yeah, what I was thinking is, whilst I've got this stuff out, I'm going to do another one of those shelf adaptations. If you didn't check the first vlog, make sure you check in that. I put out an idea which seemed to be very well received in the comment section. Shout out to everyone that watched the first episode. Where basically, I utilise some of this trunking on my Billy Bookcase shelves, which ultimately stops this happening to my game shelves. When you try and get a game and it pushes them all back, and then it's just a nightmare. Whereas if you use some of that trunking, that doesn't happen. You can easily pick a game out, put it back, no problem. So yeah, I've got quite a few more shelves to do. I'm probably gonna do this one. And ultimately, I'll have to get them all done at some point. And there we go, that's another shelf done. So that's both of these done. So I can now uh, get my games, move them around. No hustle, no drama. And that's where we're at with the room now. You know, the room's largely done. There's always improvements to be done. It's about quality of life improvements, you know, taking those little things that annoy you, like that, <laughs> and sort of alleviating it, right? And if I could pass on any tips to you guys that help you, then brilliant. And guys, that's probably gonna be it for this week's vlog. Um, Cause from here on in, I'm gonna be doing research. I've got a hell of a lot of research to do for what for you guys will be next Wednesday's video. It's probably gonna take me two or three days of just solid research. It's gonna take a lot of time. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. Cause I think it's gonna be a great video, so. Um, hopefully you guys will enjoy it um, when it goes live, which for you will be Wednesday, right? So yeah, all good. Again, a massive thank you. If you've taken the time, let me know in the comments if you've watched this to the end, right? I know that these vlogs can be quite long. Um, but again, like I said last week, I need to know that you guys are enjoying these. I'm doing this stuff, living this life anyway, right? So I might as well film it from my point of view. But if people aren't enjoying it and people aren't watching them, the only detriment is the old YouTube algorithm, which I don't like to talk about these kind of things, but if people don't watch these videos, when I do put out a mainline video, and I think you've probably gained from these sort of videos how much effort goes into those, um, YouTube might not promote that because they don't think people are watching my channel because they're not watching the vlogs or whatever. So I really appreciate people that have watched these and people that have watched it to the end. Um, like the video, all that kind of stuff, it genuinely does help with promoting and therefore growing the channel. So yeah. Really appreciate it. And these vlogs really give you an idea of what will be coming, right? The first vlog was probably more improvements in the games room. This vlog has been more game hunting, but that's pretty much setting the precedent for what these vlogs are going to be going forward. Game rooms, hunting, all that stuff that I love personally to watch on YouTube. So yeah, again, massive shout out to everyone that's watched this, this video. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to crack on with the research for Wednesday's video. Hopefully I'll see you there. Play your games, keep it retro. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Just when you thought the vlog was over. Oh, I've killed him. On the stroke of midnight, I've been at it since seven o'clock.
Oh my days. It took me five hours. Woo wee! Let me know in the comments if you hung around long enough to see this. I'm absolutely elated. I told myself I wasn't going to bed until I'd done it. On the stroke of midnight. Yes. One step closer to that platinum. Just got to do the Valkyrie. Anyway, this time we're gone. In a bit. Retro ghetto. <laughs>